all you beautiful people. Today we're going to talk about erasable highlighters. I wasn't a drummer, I was a trumpet player. Sorry you had to see that. I already took these out of the packages. Sorry, they looked kind of like this. I kept them in my lap. They're empty though, and I'll let you know what I'm using when I'm using it. Um, some of these erasable highlighters erase by friction. So these are heat sensitive and they cause a chemical reaction. I'll talk more about that in the video. And other ones, they just have the, the pigment side and then this kind of reacts with the pigment and just erases it. It's so magical. Okay, so the bad news about these is they are not acid free, which means you probably shouldn't be using them in your Bibles because you don't know what it's gonna do to them over time. Because these are not acid free, I'm not gonna do these in all the Bibles, but I'm just gonna do all of these highlighters in one Bible, and then I'm also gonna do it on a separate piece of loose leaf paper. And this is gonna be about a 75 GSM, um, but I'm not gonna do it in all the Bibles because I don't think it's gonna be necessary. But I did choose the 30 GSM thin line Bible to do my testing pages in because I feel like this one is an average Bible, but the pages are really well made where they're not going to bleed through um, and ruin my other books. There is actually another downside of using these. These disappear at 140 degrees. So if you use these in your Bible and you put it in the passenger seat of your car and it's 80 to 100 degrees outside, um, that car is going to quickly climb in temperature and once it hits 140 degrees, um, there will be no marks in your Bible. You might just get back in the car and have no ink on your page. But there's also a positive side. If you do happen to use these and by accident you do leave it in a hot car and all of your ink disappears, all you have to do is stick that Bible, the whole thing, close it, put it in the freezer for a day. Um, all of your ink is going to reappear, but your mistakes will reappear also. So if you do something with this highlighter. If you make marks with this highlighter and then you go to erase it and then you make marks over it and then you stick it in the freezer after it disappears, um, all of your marks are going to show back up. So it's not partial to your mistakes and it's not partial to what has been erased by heat. Just once you stick it in the freezer, all of it's going to reappear. Bummer, right? Okay, let me show you how these work. These are not all of the colors. They actually came in a 12 pack, but I gave some away. But you'll get the idea here. explaining the friction markers and highlighters and how they work. So you can erase from the back side just by warming it up on the other side. All those did it. I 
Okay, I just made a Bible sickle. I put it in the freezer for about two hours, and you can see where these lines were. Those colors did come back, but they are a shade lighter. So if you do happen to leave your Bible in the car, it's probably gonna be okay. And just to give you a comparison of color, I'll show you this as well. Um, this Crayola Take Note, the yellow ones seem to be completely different than the other ones. These five colors did not make the yellow disappear, but the yellow didn't make those colors disappear either. So um, just if you get those trick Crayola Take Notes to pay attention, this is not affected by heat or cold. This is a little heat tool that I used for crafting. Um, I love it. You can tell that it's it's well loved. Um, I got it used and I'm still using it. Uh, it works really well though. But I'll show you how the heat affects this, just to give you an example. I know it was in my video last week, but... Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Now I'm just gonna tilt this page a little bit. I can see in the light that I'm in, um, light pink, dark pink, red, red, yellow, green, light blue, brown, I can still see what I wrote there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. Um, so if that bothers you, maybe these would be an issue, but otherwise I would say they are definitely erasable. They do what they say. This one's not affected by the heat at all. And just because it's kind of satisfying, let's do the Bible too. curly page. Oh, and it's warm. I love heat. That's why I live in Florida, maybe. I appreciate you tuning in today. I have nothing to show you because I erased it with my heat gun. It erased, magically disappeared. Okay, I think we're done with highlighters. I don't know that I have any more left to do, so you're going to need to leave a comment in the next two weeks, and I think I'll do a YouTube live when it's time to draw the winner. Exciting! So we're done with highlighters. I have a big stack of pens and pencils down there that I would like to try, but I kind of want to do something different. Um, so I'm not sure what that might be. I do need to make a camera strap for this because the one that came with my camera is not very comfortable. I might just do that for the next video. I've also kind of an itching to do some watercolor in my Bible, and um, I would like to talk about gesso and some inks, and I have some more stuff up there that I really just, I just love getting into the Word and making colorful pages, so highlighters have been fun, but I'm kind of excited to get into something else, and then I'll come back to pens and colored pencils and all those things. There's still time, Lord willing. Thanks for joining me today.